artist Michelle Forsyth loves her husband Kevin's shirts, so much so that she has to paint them. My husband went on sabbatical last year and I started making paintings of his shirts when he was gone. And my husband wears a very small gamut of color generally. And it started out that he just dressed in gray plaids and that kind of thing. But since he's been slowly adding colors to it. So when he was on sabbatical, I started making these studies of his shirts that are flat two-dimensional studies in gouache on paper. And then I started taking those shirts and piling them up and doing still lifes from life uh, paintings of the shirts and then I started weaving them after that so I've been involved in this investigation of his, the patterns of his shirts and they're actually really tricky to make. There's all these transparencies and overlays that happen within plaids and tartans that because they're painted in a flat way they're not done with layers of transparency. You have to find the exact color that makes it appear as if they're transparent. Michelle has taken her obsession further by learning to weave so she can replicate her husband's plaid shirts. I'm making handmade reproductions of them through weaving. So last summer I went and bought a floor loom and I started teaching myself how to weave these shirts, copies of them. It's actually made me want to buy my husband's shirt because I go out and buy him shirts that I want to paint, yet most of them he doesn't like to wear because he's so particular about his shirt and the patterns in his shirts. Also on exhibit, the work of Chris Watts, who too loves patterns, grids, colors, and numbers. He's been studying and painting this for 40 years. So each piece I'm hoping has a visual impact, and then the, perhaps the viewer will just enjoy the patterning say the colored pieces the way they might enjoy a quilt and then you kind of go a little bit deeper and then you find out well, how do you organize these. There's always a color number relationship in the work and so whenever you see a certain number, say number five, it'll always be on a kind of magenta color background. Now, the more I work away at it, the more it unfolds and uh, the deeper I can go. So, you know, it's sort of like a miner chipping away at a kind of vein of, of gold or something. The more I chip away, the more I'm finding in terms of future ideas.